Hey everyone, welcome back to Elden Ring. Um, I made it back here to the Bellum Church because I think it's time to move on with sort of the main quest or what I assume is the main quest. Listen, there's this whole area here which I'm pretty interested in. However, it's been quite a long time since we've actually made any progress, uh, significant progress with the main stuff. So why not do that? So we're gonna continue in the Bellum Highway, and I think I see where we're going. Probably that fortress up there. So I mean, as far as I know, this is a lift. Uh, that's where we fucking hell. <laughs> that's where we need to go. And yeah, we'll just see what happens. I'm assuming it's gonna take us to some massive new. What the hell was that? What what was? Th oh fuck. Are you kidding me? I'm getting blasted? That's not good. That's not good. I was like, not looking forward to getting blasted. I wonder if I can read that. Those always have lore on them, but... Oh, where the hell are they coming from? Hold on. Come on, horsey. Shut up, phone. Come on, horsey, you can do this. Oh, come on, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. It's a rune arc. I'm getting a ton of these. Or, like, uh, quite a few of these, and... I'm, not, like, not using them. I still don't know... Oh, there, there it is. Okay. I was like, I still don't know where it's coming from. But now I see it. Alright, doll sim head. I'm gonna take care of everyone here. God, the fire looks nice in this game. You gotta give them credit, fuck. Oh, you need to jump? No, you can't jump over that. Sorry, horsey. I try not to commit horse murder, but it's like not really avoidable, unfortunately. Did that just friendly fire? Cool. Well, whatever. So, if I remember correctly, the... Oh, motherfucker. Yeah. The way to deal with these guys, and it's not easy, is to... Yep. Hit the driver. Let's get that driver, but the wheels have, wheels have like, shit on them. <sighs> Such a weird enemy. I, I do commend them, though, for, like, trying new stuff. Certainly, again, like, some of the Souls games do fall into having too many samey enemies, and again, I do like that they are branching out. Nice. Great mace. Is it really great? I have no idea. <clears throat> I'm not gonna use it. Okay, can I do this without committing horse murder? First of all, I gotta say, I'm curious as to what happens to the horse. No, no, I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to. These guys take, like, no damage from magic. Because, you know, the... the What's his name in Sekiro? Ooh! What? <laughs> that, was, that was accidental. Oh, it just runs away. Cool. I can't ride it, can we? That would be nice. Yeah, it just runs away. Because I was gonna say, like, Gyobu Oniva, I think that was his name. In Sekiro, like, his horse just straight up disappears. It, like, dematerializes. Uh, and I was wondering if the same thing happens. But it does not. Which is very good. Alright, let's move on. I think we have our objective. It's pretty obvious where the game wants you to go. And the question is, <clears throat> and this is really, you know, just a question. Um, is there going to be some huge monster that swoops down from above? I see the possibility. I'm going to be real with you. Um... 
the potential is high. Let's just say that. I don't see anything, but this is Elden Ring. I might just, well, there's this whole huge other area uh, which leads to the Earth Tree. No, I'm sticking with the main quest. I said I will do the main quest in this episode. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Because it's just, again... Dragon Wound Grease. What the shit is that? Whoa, okay. I, I got really scared that something was like... Yeah, because it has a weapon. So, uh, you know. You know what I'm talking about. We'll take a look at this Dragon Wound Grease. Oh, by the way. I messed around with my Ashes of War. And I now have this on my weapon. I think this is supposed to do bleed. It does a little bit of self-damage, but if this does get bleed up, that's going to be very, very useful. Is there somewhere another path leading back to the foot of the earth tree? An ancient tunnel. Well, thanks for letting us know. I'm sure there is something there. Anyways, we're going to rest up and... Listen, if there is no big monster here, I'm almost going to be disappointed. I was expecting something like this. Let's talk to Melinia. What up, girl? Always. I'm interested in lore. Good ending, bad ending, is my guess. A powerless upstart. Cool. Shall I turn your wounds to strength? Oh yeah, yeah, you can do that when she's here. Share them with me. I don't... I'm missing a hundred, like a hundred and something souls. Shit. Well, that's disappointing. I can't believe there isn't like more armors and stuff to alter it's kind of a shame like one of the things you know i always talked about i mentioned this with previous fromsoft games as well i wish there was like more armor customization in a sense that it was possible to like again the color alteration is pr probably the biggest thing that i would want because this game like all souls games have pretty good um fashion like fashion souls is a thing for a reason but as you guys know the biggest issue is a lot of the times the color the colors don't match so having any kind of customization would be just so incredibly helpful um if it turns out that i can't do jack shit here i'm gonna be very disappointed like hold on one second uh, see, the, the, is this the lift itself, or do we have to call down the lift? It doesn't look like I can interact with much here. Hold on, I'm gonna have a quick look around.
Okay, yeah, so I explored this place pretty well and I don't think it's possible to operate the lift. Uh, just looking at this key item, you, I only have the left half of this Dectus medallion. So the right half is set to reside in Fort Faroth in the Dragon Barrow far to the east. Now the thing is that far to the east is like here. Kaled, I think. So this might be the place where the game is pushing us towards Kaled. I mean, I guess there is east here. But I'm not sure if it's possible to go there. I'm certainly going to check it out. Uh, so, yeah, I'll sort of wander around for, like, in this direction. Let's see if we find anything. If not, I think we now sort of officially have to make our way into Kaelid, which I've not yet done. I've sort of been dropped into it, but that's about it. Oh fuck, do we have... What, 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 what the hell is that? I'm getting the madness thing on me. Is it from the rats? Oh shit, it's from the tower. Fucking Eye of Sauron. I still don't know what the hell this does. But I'm sort of afraid of it being an insta-kill. Have I been madness before? Does it just do like... I don't remember. I think what we need to do is just like be quick. Yeah, I think that's where. Yeah, we we can probably get on top. Right? That would be my logic. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Fuck. How did I survive? So it's not an insta kill. It just does a shit ton of damage. Oh come on. I thought I was safe under it. Okay, I think this is as far as I've... Or like, as close as I've gotten. Fucking rats. But it's good, because the more I get now, the less I have to deal with. Let's wait until it goes away. Wait, does this shit like drain your FP too? And this status... Oh, come on. This status looks like it sucks. Come on, big rat. So it doesn't work if you have your back turned to this shit. Uh, it doesn't matter, I can use all my... Oh, sh... Where do you keep coming from? I think this might be it. Yep. God, you have a lot of HP. Once I get you, it's all good. Pick up the runes. Please tell me I'm safe here. Okay. That's all I wanted to know, that I'm safe inside the tower. I'm like, if, you are, if you're not, I'm screwed. I'm like, 100% uh, sure whatever is here, it's not gonna be worth it. But at this point, I feel like I've invested too much. I'm hoping this is not like an enemy or something. Howl of Shibriri. Oh, come on. Seriously? Fuck. All of you. It's not gonna go away, is it? <sighs> am, I, am I spending too much time on this? I might be spending too much time on this. 
Please tell me they stay dead. But I have a feeling they don't. It's a spell, right? That I just got. Hall of Shabriri. Shrieks building up madness in nearby foes. Okay. So it's basically that. It's nice though that you can get madness. So this is like... Yeah, this is really like Bloodborne's... What was it called? Frenzy, right? I think it was called Frenzy. Of course, the weird thing is that... Bleed essentially does the same thing, right? It builds up and then... Please tell me it goes away. <gasps> it did? It did! Thank fuck for that. Okay. Uh, yeah, so doesn't like bleed essentially do the same thing? It's like it builds up and it deals a big chunk of damage. And frostbite too. So we now have basically three status ailments that generally sort of do the same thing. Rats can't climb ladders, so we're Gucci. Gucci, I said it really weird there. Oh shit, you can summon you. Yep, I'm making my escape via horse. Yeah, let's go to that tower. The issue is... Mm, okay. I thought there was a way across. I was just about to say you have to horse platform across here. But that doesn't appear to be the case. Is that gonna kill me? It does a lot of damage. Oh fuck, this leads... God damn it, I'm stupid. This leads back here. Alright, never mind. You know what? Should I spend time doing this? Yeah, whatever. The Frenzy Tower is gone. I only now connected that that leads into the valley where we have that dungeon that I still haven't completed because it sucks. Converted Fringe Tower. May Erudition light the way. You must solve the puzzle to enter. Huh? There's a puzzle here. Oh shit. Is my dumbassness gonna get exploded? Or exp See, this is what I'm talking about. Is my dumbass nature gonna get exposed here? Let's just have a look around. May erudition light the way. The only thing I can think of is, do you have to like... Maybe like use a specific spell or something? Not sure. We had one of these towers before and back then, like way at the start of the game, I thought that these were the... the divine towers. Fucking... Ah... Uh. Sucks. Cool. I'm just gonna grab my souls and go because this is a puzzle tower. Uh, promise to finally stick to the main quest and at least there is a minor earth tree and so some sort of like fortress here which I'm gonna go ahead and check out. Maybe this is the fortress we are looking for because this is technically eastward from the Grand Lift. So who knows. But I have a feeling that they're pushing us into Kaled. Like, it's sort of in the, like, main world. I'm assuming this lift sort of takes us to... I don't know, like, phase two of the game. Like, Anor Londo. Yeah, it's another... It's another madness village. The Lord of the Frenzied Flame. Beneath Landel, at the very bottom, lies our Lord, Lord of the Frenzy, the three fingers who holds us in thrall. Huh. Interesting. 
So like, there's a three fingers. It's pretty funny. I'm guessing he... Do I smell a cat? This is where it turns out that the two fingers is lying to us or whatever. Whoa, what the hell is that? I'm assuming it's something like that. Beneath Landell. Well, when we get to Landell, which I think we partially already got to, like right here. Um, I'll check it out. I'll try to check it out. Like, Listen, I don't know how like the endings are. How many there are. There's probably a bunch that you have to do some like convoluted shit too, because it wouldn't be a Souls game without that. Um, but we have plenty of playthroughs, so there's no rush. I always forget how short range that attack of my weapon is. I can do some shit like that too. Okay, so... I think I need to like either get more int or get a better staff because I feel like my sorceries are falling behind except my weapon buff. Like this Glintstone Pebble ain't dealing shit. Shibriri is whoa. Whoa. Is it a... What is that? Oh. Constantly attracts enemies aggressions. <laughs> Holy shit. Disturbing likeness of a man whose eyes have been gouged out. The corners of his mouth are upturned in an almost flirtatious manner. Constantly attracts enemies' aggressions. Aggression. It is said that the man named Chivriri had his eyes gouged out as punishment for the crime of slander. And with time, the blight of the flame of frenzy came to dwell in the empty sockets. Interesting. So, I'm guessing he's like... Closely related to... This sort of... It, this almost seems like it's a cult or something. This is some cult shit. This stuff around madness. And I'm guessing they're, the three fingers is... Their lord. I'm down with that. I'm down with the sickness for this. We'll see to what or where this leads to. Yeah, you know where I'm going next. Invader? Invader, definitely. There's only one reason you lose your horse out of nowhere. Festering fingerprint, Vike. Hey, can you like let me buff? Thanks. Ah, oh, of course he does fucking madness. What the f fucking... Oh, it's... Oh, I get it. So madness stuns you as well. Can you like... Jesus. I have a lot of souls as well. I'm stupid for not using them. I had a checkpoint. Oh shit, who the hell are you? He wasn't here before. Ah, Lord Vike, it seems that you were no lord after all. Then where is he, our true lord, our lord of frenzied flame? We beg of you, incinerate all that divides, divides and distinguishes, and may chaos take the world. Yeah, I, I really get the feeling that these are the bad guys. Um, you know, Souls is usually a bit nuanced on this. Like, good and evil stuff, but these guys kind of sort of straight up seem like the bad guys. Got you now, bitch. Don't even try that, like, madness shit. He has a lot of HP. But he can't do nothing against them jumping attacks, though. Yeah, use your one heal. See, it's all about the spacing. These guys aren't that strong. Ha, bitch. Idiot. 
I'm guessing we're gonna get his weapon, right? Fingerprint grape. Vikes warp. Yeah, okay. Let's check these things out. So I already have a Shibriri grape, which is what we gave to that chick uh, who I haven't seen since. And we have Eyeball of the Night Vike inflamed in yellow. Seared with a repulsive fingerprint burn akin to those that marred his entire body. If offered to the blind maiden, it will lead her to the source of the distant light, allowing her to become a finger maiden. So we need to find her, but where the hell is she? That's the question, of course. Uh, what does this need? Of oh, faith. War spear singed and blistered by fingers, used by Vike, knight of the round table hold. Like Vike himself, it has been tormented by the yellow flame of frenzy from within. That special attack he did was pretty cool. Like, I'm on the lookout for cool weapons. As always. Did we just get... Yeah, we got her shit. Cool. Oh, this was not all for nothing then. What should we get? What should we get? Uh, I'm gonna... Hmm. See, everything seems so useful. I think we have enough endurance, that's for sure. I'm gonna get Dex. Okay, so I made it back to Kaelid. This is the sort of furthest in I got, aside from like those really deep places. But I want to sort of explore this place linearly, if that is a word. Uh, that's where it is. Shit. Okay. I finally see where the hell that marking is. Okay. Let's not get distracted. Let's go into Kaelid. Um, yeah, I completely forgot that I already explored the minor tree back in Leonia, that other one, so... I mean, we don't need to do anything there, so... Kaelid it is. By the way, I messed around with my Ashes of War. Oh, is this gonna be the poison area? I feel like this is gonna be the poison area, and I'm gonna be annoyed. Um... What was I saying? I messed around with my Ashes of War, and it turns out that my heavy Ash of War sort of infusion, I don't know what to call it, now allows me more damage compared to the standard or anything else. I'm working towards getting the Bleed one up. But not the Bleed one, the Dex one, because this is still a Dex build, primarily. Uh, but... Until then, listen, I'm going with whatever deals the most damage. Probably these guys would be less annoying off horseback, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> I'm too lazy to get off. You you know what I'm going to. Like you obviously know what I'm going towards. Like how can I not be going towards that? Like you see it, I see it. Yeah. It's all there is. Oh, he doesn't have golden magic. What is he spewing? Oh, this is the... Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. You deal a lot of damage. So I was gonna say, I think this is Scarlet Rot, isn't it? Can you get off my fucking... <sighs> Bullshit. He does so much damage. Maybe this is better off horseback. Should've buffed up too. Holy fucking shit. Like, what is this damage? 
I mean, I guess he's slow, but still. That is insane. That That is... What the fuck? Is Kelly, like, really advanced or something? Because, like, that shit is, like, straight up one sh or two shotting me. Hey, careful of the Scarlet Rot. Jesus, like... Okay, I feel like we definitely need the wolves for this shit. Like, man. I don't know how the wolves would help, but I think they do help. Unless, no, they just get annihilated. That is, this is just too much damage. Like, huh? Maybe you're not meant to come here, like, I don't know, man. But... Oh, is it stunned? Oh, well, you can't critical it? Okay, my hope is to... Like, quickly kill it. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. You, you, you can't avoid that at all. Like... Yeah, you know, honestly, fuck this boss. Um, I don't know if he's just, like, super advanced. And I'm not meant to fight him, but... This just feels... Absolutely ridiculous. Like, I don't know what else to say. Oh, you can't get to that fort? Nah, shit, that's disappointing. At least let me have the treasure here, if there is any treasure. Um, what? Don't gesture. Oh, I really thought you can get to the giant pot from here. Did I just waste all this time for nothing? I think I did. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. This guy, this guy is way too difficult. Oh no, 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 there is something here. Is it a dungeon? Yeah, it is. Okay, we haven't had one of these in a while. Minor Earth Tree Catacombs. Cool. Well, yeah, that putrid avatar or whatever his name is is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Like, I think I'm way too underleveled for him. Maybe he's like a uh, more advanced boss that you're supposed to come back to. But yeah, I just, I can't do it. So yeah, I'm gonna return to the main path here, like, that putrid avatar or whatever is just absolutely fucking lootly ridiculous. Uh, he... Because, like, comparatively, the enemies here are pretty easy. Like, I'm doing good damage to them. And this guy is just, like, wrecking my shit. Leading me to believe that... Uh, I'm not meant to... F what the hell is that? <laughs> Bro. Look at that thing just... Ch <laughs> Excellent. Wow. Hey, Bloodborne. It's good to be back, right? This place looks absolutely fucked. Like, damn. What the hell happened here? It's rotting. Everything rotting scarlet. The very earth that Kaelid rests upon and Celia, town of sorcery. The end is nigh for us all. Okay. So, this is gonna be at yeah, the poison area. 100% sure. Uh, let me at least get to this place. Like, that seems to me like sort of the main first milestone we want to go to. So yeah, let's just wander over there. Let's see if we see anything interesting. Like a shit ton of zombos. Is this meat from MK? 
They're all meats. I feel like I'm gonna love this area. Uh, it really seems like everything and their mother is going to be poisoning you, so... Yeah, instead of just a poison swamp... Or a poison... Yeah, usually just poison swamps. We now have an entire poison region. That's exactly what I wanted from software. Place looks cool though. It almost looks like another planet. What the fuck is going on here? This place seems absolutely stoned. What are they like mutant? They're mutant dogs. Uh, there's a shit ton of them too. And mutant crows. Well, we might as well piss off one of them. Okay, yeah, they take good damage. Yeah, that's the weird thing about this earth tree avatar or whatever it's like putrid avatar i think it's called that everything else here seems to be like my level except that thing these things look gross if i could hit him it would be nice Okay, they put you right here. They're like, people are gonna die quite a lot here. Not me. Man, is this like the theme of this area that everything just deals a metric fuck ton of damage? Because like, damn. It's nearly dead, I think. Thank you. Let's not piss off the crows well. It's just a great sword. Weird. I'm yeah, I'm a little bit weirded out by this area again because partially it seems like the type of stuff they're giving you and the enemy's health and all that seem Pretty basic, but then some of the things it's just like am I meant to be here? Jesus, I swear to you. I'm not just getting hit by that on purpose. I'm trying to avoid it Hefty beast bone. Yeah, they're, they're giving us mad <laughs> They're giving us mad sights of grace for sure though You know what? I'm gonna ride through. <laughs> oh, they're burning. Poor fucks. Yeah, because I just want to get to that telescope. Man, this this place looks really cool though. Like, I... I like the aesthetics. Again, it feels very much like another... Holy shit, the amount of Sights of Grace. Please, I can them. What the hell is happening to them? Did they just all explode? Yeah, let's listen to her. Festivals are cool. Haven't been happening much lately. Okay. B 
Bud. Should we visit the Bud first? This is gonna be poison, isn't it? It is, yeah. Well, shit. So to the east, she mentioned the east as well. Uh, so what she said, to the south there is something, and to the east there is something. I'm assuming these two places. Cool. Where is that telescope? Oh, there it is. I didn't see it for a second. <laughs> oh, this place is cool. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I'm going to take a look around. That's definitely... Is that a divine tower? I think it is. Yeah, because that's not a minor earth tree. Interesting, interesting. And we have the catacombs as well to explore and all that. Yeah, we uh, we have a lot to do. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring. If you did, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications as usual. And I will catch you next time. Peace out and goodbye.